Okay guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to update your firmware in the FlySky i6s transmitter. And uh, a few days ago I did a review video on this transmitter and went over the features um, of the, the current firmware that came shipped on the transmitter. But since then uh, FlySky has released a, an updated firmware that will add model memory and fixes a few bugs and a bunch of other features and such like that. Um, for this video I'm just going to go over how to do the firmware update and then I'll do another video uh, in a few days to cover the new features. Now uh, to get this firmware you just have to go to the product page uh, on Banggood where you bought the, uh, the transmitter and if you go to that page and scroll down uh, it's, it's basically at the very top of the product details section and it'll say uh, newest firmware please click here and when you, when you click there and download, uh, you'll get this file on your computer where we uh, normally put your downloads. It'll be called update firmware fs-hst-i6s.rar. It's a RAR file. And uh, you'll need a program like 7-zip or some other um, uh, decompression program like WinRAR to uh, get the firmware updater out of there. To de, um, decompress it. So I have 7-zip and I just go to 7-zip here and uh, extract update firmware. And once you do that you get a folder with the update firmware fs-i6s.exe file in there. So what you want to do is go ahead and run that file, open it up, and you get the firmware update program running. And it's wait right now it's just waiting for the transmitter to be plugged into the computer which we'll do right now. Go ahead and uh, plug in your USB cable into the bottom of the transmitter. Go ahead and power on your transmitter. So after you powered on the transmitter, you go to the settings and under setup, click on the firmware update section and then I'll tell you that the uh, everything will be halted and then go ahead and click continue. And then on the computer you'll see that uh, the device has shown up here in the firmware update section and all you have to do is click the update button. And it will show you the progress of the update. It happens pretty quick. And it shows that the program is successful and reboots the transmitter and you're back into the transmitter. Now the uh, manufacturer FlySky recommends that you do a stick calibration and uh, also if you have any issues uh, with the um, transmitter you're supposed to do a factory reset and um, just for good measure uh, since I haven't really done anything with this transmitter I'm going to go ahead and do that first before I do a stick calibration. So I will go into the settings. This is uh, optional for you, but if you are having any sort of issues, then you should go into, go into there and find that. So I've got to find find the uh, firmware or the sorry the factory reset, which is probably under our system. And there we go. So there's factory reset right there. Click on factory reset. And yes. So that will basically reset the whole transmitter to factory settings. So it looks like the firmware update was successful. We're on version 2.0. July 2016. And go back into settings, go into system, and we'll go to sticks adjust to recalibrate the sticks. So just basically move all of your sticks to the maximum extents. And also the dials in the in the corner as well.
Okay, to check that the channels are behaving properly, you just swipe from the left to the right on the screen, which will bring up the channel monitor. And you can see here channel 3 is throttle, and that's about half right there, and that's full throttle, and that looks pretty good. The roll, channel 1, looks like it's working well. Pitch on channel 2. Also, looks like it's working okay, and you got yaw also working just fine. Right now, since I factory reset the radio, um, I don't have any of my auxiliary uh, channels set to any switches yet, but it looks like the calibration worked correctly. So at this point, the firmware upgrade is done, and um, I will go over all of the features of the model memory and um, additional features that came out with this firmware after I get a chance to review it myself and then I will make a video and show you guys uh, what I discovered. So stay tuned for that video and I'll talk to you guys later.